ما تنساش تعمل اشتراك في القناة يلا بينا Here's what happens when you breathe in larger particles. They're trapped by the hairs in your nose and by the mucous membranes that line your nose, air passages, and lungs. These particles are then embedded in the sticky mucus, which is constantly being swept by the tiny cilia hairs toward the nose and mouth. Finally, they are either coughed up and spit out, swallowed, or removed when you blow your nose. In any case, they are too big to get into the deep parts of your lung where they could do damage and cause silicosis. But the respirable particles in silica dust are toxic. Your body's natural defenses can't work on them. When these tiny particles get into your lungs, they stay there and things begin to happen in your lungs. That's the problem. That's how silicosis develops. The tissue in your lungs reacts to the trapped particles and becomes inflamed. Fibers grow around them and little lumps called nodules form. Your lung tissue is becoming scarred. This condition is what is referred to as silicosis. Since the main function of your lungs is to get oxygen from the air into your body and get carbon dioxide out, the scarring on the lung tissue can impair your breathing process. Breathing depends on millions of tiny air sacs that cover your lung's inner surface. Your lungs are like balloons. When you breathe in, the lungs stretch and get bigger. They fill with air. When you breathe out, they get smaller, squeezing out the air. Good breathing depends on your lungs' elasticity and their ability to exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide. As the nodules around the silica particles in your lungs get larger, they disable air sacs and your lungs lose their elasticity and volume. With lungs that can't expand as well as they should, and with less air sacs in your lungs, it gets harder and harder for your body to receive the oxygen it needs. Breathing becomes difficult. You are slowly suffocating, maybe even to death.